Dallas gave it their all to try to hold off Minnesota, the defending champs, but couldn't get it done today as they fell to the Lynx 76-72 here in the College Park Center. Coach Williams said his team was tested throughout the entire game, but especially during the second half when they were without their go-to scorer, Liz Cambage, who left the game early with an eye injury. Here's what Coach had to say about the game and an update on Liz. We got tested really well in the second half. But not, not having Liz with us, I thought our, our team stepped up and tried to uh, you know, put forth on the defensive end. I think she's a tough young lady. She bounced back. She got you know, also poked an eye and then in that first uh, quarter. And uh, she tried to play through it, but uh, you know, I think she got hit again and she had to get, you know, go out the game. Your leading scorers in today's matchup, Maya Moore led all scorers with 26 points and had six rebounds, two steals, two assists, and two blocks to go along with it. And Skylar Diggins-Smith was Dallas's leading scorer with 16 points while dishing out seven assists. After the game, I checked in with Maya Moore. Here's what she had to say about the Lynx's seventh straight victory. Maya, how were you able to stand Dallas's run throughout the game? Um, well, when it comes to runs, uh, it's usually a, when, you, when you can put together uh, some consecutive stops and some consecutive scores. And so on um, the defensive end for us, we, we wanted to put that emphasis to make, make sure that they didn't uh, run away on, on, on their runs. And so we had to put some stops together and then execute on the offensive end and stay in poise. And they, they do a great job of trying to create chaos and, um, and, and, and turn it up. And we had to withstand that and, and uh, defensively and then executing on the offensive end. You're currently one of the hottest teams in the WNBA on a seven game win streak now. What's working so well for your team? Um, you know, finding a way to win when, when, when times are hard and um, trying to do our best to uh, keep our foot on the gas at, at all times and um, making it uh, just really hard for teams to score. That's always our, our, our mindset and, and just collectively being on the same page uh, defensively as a unit and then using that momentum on offense to uh, to really just play together. Everybody uh, doing their role, doing their job and uh, we're just building momentum the more we're, we're together and uh, that's, that's that's a it's a good thing. You know, the longer we, we, we work at it this year with this group, um, the better we're getting, which is a good sign. The Wings still have two more home games this week. They will host Chicago on Tuesday and Indiana on Thursday. Reporting here at the College Park Center for D210 Sports TV, I'm Austin Ivan and you've just been credentialed.